Hello everybody, you have tuned in to the right place. Let's go! Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to. This is the home edition of 2020, and today is May 18th, 2020. So again, May is moving on through. Next week is Memorial Day, and um, obviously we won't be able to celebrate like we used to in bigger numbers, um, enjoying each other's company, going to weddings and things like that. Um, but we can still enjoy each other again, just because we are in somewhat of a solitude period doesn't mean that we disconnect from each other. Um, phone calls work just fine. A lot of us have, um, those fancy iPhones so you can FaceTime people, um, duo on Samsung, Marco Polo. There's a lot of things that you can do, um, just so that people can actually see your face. Um, if you're cool with the neighbor, just go outside and wave at them. You know, we've also become pretty isolated from our neighbors. Um, it's no longer the garage door syndrome where we now have a electronic garage door. We can just pull in there, let it close and not have to see anybody. Um, it's more of, we just are not really wanting to be around people because we are taking the social distancing thing pretty darn serious, which is okay. But I want to get right into the message for today. Um, I heard something yesterday, I saw something yesterday while I was on church online. And um, it was highlighted that at this time during the season, we should be shining, not whining. Um, so you can take that many ways. The way that I'm going to go ahead and take it is I'm going to take it as you should be using this period, the season in your life to get good at something. Um, I told my husband the other week because he's been watching The Last Dance with Michael Jordan and everybody else. Um, and I was like, I want to become a goat. And I asked him, I said, you think I be can become a goat at something? And he said, yeah. So... At that point, I've been trying to figure out what talent I can really hone in on um, because obviously I can do a lot of things, but what talent can I hone in on where I can become a goat at something? So I have a guitar here. I have makeup here. I have wigs here, you know, that I can try to become great at installing and things like that. Got to pick something, you know. Um, another friend told me that there is no way that someone should come out of this season and not be good at something. You know, I've been in isolation, or not isolation, but some of quarantine for the last um, two months now. So March 17th is when everything pretty much got shut down from my job saying you will work at home, this is where you'll be, this is where the kids are, etc. So I'm trying to shine at something. I don't want to leave this season um, not becoming great at something because I have the opportunity. Not saying that I have all the time in the world because I do continue to work from home, um, but I do have time. You know, that's something that I didn't always have because I was either tired, picking up kids from school, taking them to the Y and things like that. Um, we actually have a little bit more time. So, but the whining part, because a lot of us complain, I am a complainer as well from time to time. I don't like to because I want to make sure that I highlight my blessings more than my burdens, but um, it's a natural thing. We're human. We complain, um, and sometimes that can overshadow what we're trying to shine in, you know, that, that, um, that whining can be seen as your negativity. And when that negativity pours on, sometimes it can pour on pretty darn thick. And we just have to be careful of that. Um, so one Bible verse that I want to highlight is from Proverbs 17, verse 22. 
and um, it talks about it talks about just this. So it says, "A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit spirit dries up bones." And we are all looking for some type of medicine. Um, I mean, I'm hopeful that people aren't going towards external things um, to look for that that joy that they can bring into their lives um because your joyful heart in general is what's going to help you overcome a lot of what's going on in this environment so i do encourage you to look for some really good medicine and again joy does come in the morning so we just have to be mindful of what we already have you know if you went to sleep angry last night please don't wake up again with the same spirit because um, that sphere will overcome you and it's going to be real difficult to get out of that space, out of that place. Um, so I just wanted to bring that about um, to start shining and stop whining. Just get good at something. I know that people are out there trying to write books, um, write songs. I finished a poem in like five minutes yesterday, which I think is really good. So, um, you know, just start getting good at something. I know that um, we all have some type of talent that can be flourished into something magnificent. Um, so I believe in you, so you should believe in yourself. Um, at this time, we're going to go ahead and pray just so that we can start our day, start our way. Um, I've already made it to my job. I came downstairs and sat at my desk. So I've already made it to my job that I'll be starting in a little bit. And that is my journey. So... Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for this Monday. Thank you for this Monday morning. Thank you for the ability for me to show Monday morning once again, Lord. I continue to pray, Lord, for all those who have so much against us, Lord, that we, we learn to be grateful in that time, Lord Jesus. The season is bringing about a lot of challenges. The season is bringing about a lot of change. But I pray, Lord, that the positivity, the positive vibes that we need in order to make it through those changes in those conditions in that new environment, that we do it for you, Lord. If we learn to keep you bigger than all that is coming against us, then we'll be all right. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.